This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. If you're not familiar with them, they make really useful gear that you'll want to carry and use every day. They have things like the bit bar, which is a pocket screwdriver with a bit selection hidden in the handle, or the TPT and TPT slide, which are utility knives that also have tools built in. And they also have pins like the TI Arto EDC, which works with over 750 inserts. And my favorite, the TI Pocket Pro. They are all made out of titanium and built really, really well. To learn more about Big Idea Design, use the links in the description down below, and you can also use coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50, and if you do so, you'll help support the show. Welcome back. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. This week, there is a theme to the show, and that's Blackout, because Blackout is always a popular theme, but also it's attainable for everyone because black items are easy to come by. It's just one of the more common colors out there, which means it's easier for you guys to throw together your own blackout. That doesn't make it any less awesome. But before we get to that, there are a couple of announcements. The EDC Weekly Monthly Giveaway Winner, EDC Weekly Monthly Giveaway Winner, it's got a horrible name. I picked the winner off camera, but the winner of last month's EDC Weekly was Rob Raised Hell for this photo right here. Congratulations, Rob, I will be in touch. Just know that there is a delay in me getting some of the stuff for the giveaway. So I haven't been able to send out a couple of them yet. Also, I will be making stuff for the Patreon supporters very, very soon. This coming week, I hope to get that stuff in the mail to you guys. So thank you guys for supporting. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there is a $25 tier where you get a custom limited run Best MEDC shirt. I'm gonna use this graphic right here. I think it's awesome. I love it. Can't wait to get it on a shirt and wear that shirt. And I can't wait for you guys to get that shirt and wear it as well. The other giveaway, was last week's EDC Weekly. I'm giving away a TPT. I said comment with how you got into EDC. And this comment right here from the Ninth Monkey is the winner. There were a ton of great comments. It is, it's time consuming to read through all of them, but there were a ton of great comments. But the reason I had to choose this one is it pays homage to the guy who got me into EDC or at least validated everyday carry for me. And that's Adam Savage. He's one of my heroes. The dude is a badass. He makes awesome stuff. I love everything that dude does. But this, this comment calls back to Adam Savage, but also the Playboy video where I was in a, an EDC video with Adam Savage, sort of. It was, like, it was like a shining moment in my history. It's not much. Not many people watched that video, but those who did, um, yeah, they know that I was in a Playboy video. I, that happened. It was a good moment for me. And honestly, that's where this show came from. After that video got featured, that's when I decided, hey, maybe I should do something with this EDC stuff. And then here we are today. I will get this TPT in the mail to you, the ninth monkey. I don't know your real name. And finally, the last announcement, I got this package in the mail the other day from Bryce and Campbell. Inside that was this, a Travax wallet, the Summit wallet. It was his old one, it's used, but I'm gonna give it away because I kind of already have one. Dustin Bean from Arvin Carvers, he sent me his old Travax Summit wallet with the leather attachment. It was the notebook version. And uh, you can just remove the leather and you have the original Summit wallet. So Bryson sent this a little prematurely. I was telling him, no, no, like try to sell it or something. He had already shipped it. So we decided to give it away. And I will explain later in the video how you can win this wallet, the Travax Summit wallet in all black. With all those out of the way, it's time to get the show started. This is the EDC Weekly, and these are some badass blackout everyday carries. Let's do the thing. First submission this week comes from Shane Hulena or Shane44M over on Instagram, and this carry is predominantly carbon fiber. First up here, we have the Zero Tolerance 0804 in carbon fiber. And above that, his multi-tool of choice is the Leatherman Wave Plus. To the far left of the photo is the Olight i3T EOS. And then to the right of the Leatherman is his key organizer. That is the key bar and carbon fiber. Attached to that is the Cogent or Cogent Industries hang key. And then finally to the far right of the photo is the Ridge Wallet, also in carbon fiber. I'm not a huge fan of carbon fiber. If I'm gonna be 100% honest, I was talking about this over in the Discord server last night, carbon fiber, it is a very efficient material. It's very lightweight, very, very strong, but I'm not a huge fan of the appearance of it. It looks nice and orderly and very uniform, but I don't know, I'm more of an earth tones, natural patina look kind of guy. 
and this, it's just not my personal style. I think it looks great. Maybe if I tried something, I've not had anything real carbon fiber in a very, very long time. Anyway, Shane says, I've been trying to get this stealth carry together for a long time. I finally got around to getting a black wave and I finally managed to get my hands on a discontinued ZT0804CF, but I feel like it's an achievement unlocked level up moment. And yeah, man, this is great. This is really, really nice quality gear. You have a very nice compact EDC. I personally wish I could condense mine down to something this compact now, but I've got so much new stuff that I, I can't, I want to carry everything and it's just not possible. So I, I try to, as best I can, to pare it down, but I'm, I'm going in the way wrong direction now. Thank you, Shane, for sharing. You now have a second entry into the November, not November. You now have a second entry into the January giveaway. Next up is Sam Reyes. He does not have an Instagram, but you can find him over on the website at Sam the Great. This carry is definitely a little more busy than the previous one, but nonetheless, it is very well put together and obviously very blackout. First up, we have the Glock 19 Gen 4 MOS. On that are Trijicon RMR sights, as well as a Streamlight TLR8 flashlight on the bottom. Below that is an 18 round Glock extended magazine. And he also has a black Zippo lighter. And then beside that is his Pilot G2 pin. The very bottom of the photo is his watch of choice. That is the Apple Watch Series 3. Looks like the Nike edition. Could be an aftermarket band, I don't know. At the very top of the photo is the Microtech Ultratech. That is the Blade Show 2017 Special Edition. Next to that is his multi-tool of choice, that is the Leatherman Wave. Below that, his wallet that he carries is the Calvin Klein leather card case. His flashlight of choice to the left is the Olight S1 Baton, and above that are his Apple EarPods, the only thing in this photo that's not totally blacked out. Above that are his keys, and on that he carries a Gerber Shard keychain tool, and then to the left of the photo is his iPhone, which is not pictured, but the case is there. It is an iPhone XS Max, which he carries in a black silicone case. I don't think there's a, there's no brand that he mentions, but black silicone case. So there's a lot to unpack there, but Sam says, I'm a pro 2A or second amendment guy and I always carry a firearm so I can protect my family if I need to. I carry a Glock 19 because I shoot it the best out of other carry guns I've tried. I carry an extra mag, not because I think I will need 29 rounds, but if anything fails on a pistol, it's usually an issue with the magazine. I carry a Zippo because you never know when you'll need a fire. The pin goes without saying, but I'm looking to upgrade to something better. I carry a Microtech for opening boxes mostly, if ever there were an overkill knife for opening boxes. <laughs> the Leatherman has more than paid for itself from car issues to setting things up at the deer lease the deer lease? Maybe it's at the very least, and it just auto-corrected. At the very least, it's incredibly handy. I got this small Calvin Klein wallet as a gift, and I will never go back to a full-size wallet. Me either. I can't do it. I don't know how people carry those big, hunkin' bifold, trifold wallets. I just can't do it anymore. This little wallet actually helped with my back pain. The Olight has become my favorite light because of the magnetic back, and it's rechargeable. AirPods are more for answering calls than listening to music, and that's all he has to say. So if I had to say anything about this, the more and more I see these Microtechs, the Ultratech, I, the more I want one. I just don't care for out of the front knives, but I don't know. I just, these Microtechs look so, so nice. I don't know what it is. I don't, again, I don't feel like they're super practical, but not everything has to be practical. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Sam. This is an awesome carry, and you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Maybe I should just say this month, because when I say the month, I always get it wrong. Next up, we have Nelson Acosta. You can find him over on Instagram at Space Nerd, but the E in space is a number three, and there is an underscore at the very end of the handle. This carry was very dark. I had to lighten it up quite a bit so I could actually see what was in it, but, Nonetheless, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. First up, we have the Apple Watch Series 1 with a Speak and Tough armor case on it. Above that and underneath the knife is a black bandana, and the knife on top of that is the K-Bar TDI fixed blade. The wallet next to that is the Spec Ops V wallet, or T-H-E wallet mini, that is an acronym, T-H-E. I don't know what it stands for. But next to that is his multi-tool of choice. That's the Leatherman Skeletool, and that is the CX version, so it has that black carbon fiber instead of all metal design and then his paracord bracelet is to the far right of the photo. Moving back over to the left bottom of the photo is his phone that is an iPhone 10 and a Spigen Air Armor case. He also carries a magic fiber microfiber cleaning cloth and to the right of that is his knife of choice, the Kershaw Trimmer. He also carries a utility knife that is the Outdoor Edge Slide Winder and then below that, we've got an organizer with a few things on top. He has a Lumen Top Tool AA 2.0 EDC flashlight as well as a black Fisher Space Pin Bullet and an Aspire Breeze 2 Vape. 
All of that he carries in a Sticky Holsters dual mini mag sleeve. And that is all in the photo. All Nelson has to say is, hi, I'm a big fan of your videos. Keep up the good work. Here we go. There is an EDC with actual, like an actual belt holster. People were commenting on the Tale of Knives belt loop holster video that I did that I was a shill and that I, who actually carries their stuff on their hip. Um, more people than you might think. And Alex, like I said, made fun of me for being like the ultimate dad by having a holster. It was like, you know, dad level 2.0, having your phone clipped to your belt or something. But um, no, I actually really enjoy having that thing on my hip. It makes me able to carry a bigger knife and a flashlight than I normally would in my EDC. And it doesn't, I don't have to worry about it taking up precious pocket space or falling out of my pocket. And these things are a little smaller, but still, I think this is a, uh, that's neat. I've not seen one of those, but it says it's a mag holder. Yeah, mag sleeve, mini mag sleeve. So probably for a, uh, a very small EDC gun. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Nelson. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up on the list is Austin Pace. You can find him over at Instagram on carry your adventure. And this carry, I would say is a little more on the budget side, not, completely, but a little more budget friendly. First up, we have the Apple iPhone 6S. He carries that in a mouse Kevlar case. Beside that is the Chicago Comb model number one in carbon fiber. And below that is his knife of choice, which is the Spyderco Tenacious. Next to that is the Statgear X-Blade Pocket. That's the thing between the pin and the flashlight. Speaking of the flashlight, the flashlight is the Olight S1 Mini and the pin is the Zebra F-701. The bottom right of the photo is his wallet of choice. That is the Minix RFID Slim Wallet in black. He also has a key smart rugged attached to his keys. He attaches that to his keys with a Nitize locking s beaner and the rest of his keys are kept on an Oceanus, Oceanus brass bow shackle. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's basically just a brass U-bolt. That's all there is for this carry, but Austin has quite a bit to say about it. He says, most of these items get used pretty frequently in my daily life. I have loved my mouse case ever since I got it and definitely plan on getting another when I upgrade my phone. And nobody has ever corrected me on the pronunciation of that. So I'm gonna assume that mouse is the correct pronunciation of it, but I, I really don't know. While it is from a Kickstarter that is not available publicly, so I'm happy to have found the campaign when I did as it is the perfect size for me. I like keeping a comb on me when I can as it gets extremely windy out here in West Texas and I like to look at least presentable. The Olay has become one of my go-to flashlights and even though it may not get used every day, it is often enough that I feel justified in carrying it. The Zebra is just a standard pen that feels extremely comfortable and allows me to sign papers without having to grab a public pen. I picked up a Tenacious at the same time as several other knives, but find myself constantly going back to it as it just feels right. The X-Blade serves as my current utility knife as I almost always have some form of one on me to open boxes and this is simply the one I'm currently testing out. And I didn't actually know what the Stat Gear X-Blade, is that what it's called? Yeah. I didn't know what that was. I knew Stack Gear made knives because they sent me the Slinger, but I didn't know that that was a utility knife. So I found a lot of utility knives recently, and I'm thinking maybe I should do another utility knife roundup, like a round two, because this came in today. And that is the Mech Army EK-12. Very small little craft utility knife. And somewhere in this little case, which I have a new way of organizing my EDC gear now. And uh, I've, I've shown it over on Instagram, but I haven't shown it here. So maybe I can show that in a video sometime. But I also have the V10 Valor from Rovivon. So I've got several more utility knives, a whole drawer full of them. It may be worth revisiting that old video because it did really well. And there are a ton of utility knives out there now. Back to what Austin was saying. Lastly, we have my keys and a key smart rugged that has definitely lived up to its name. Attached to this, I have a locking S beaner for my truck keys and a brass bow shackle that holds my main work keys for easier access. I carry several other items on my person most days, but wanted to do a proper pocket dump to highlight those items. There you go. Thanks for sharing, Austin. You have an awesome EDC. You also have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comments down below if you want me to revisit the Utility Knives video because there are a lot of new ones out there. And uh, I heard through the grapevine that Tactical Keychains was back open for business. His books are back open. So it may be time. It might be time. The fifth and final submission this week comes from Alex Franco. You can find him over on Instagram at FezAlex. And this one is another very basic carry. First up, we have the Smith & Wesson Performance Center Shield in 9mm. He also has a Harley Davidson bracelet, he said, that has the specific tire pattern that his motorcycle does. His wallet of choice in the bottom left of the photo is the Ridge Wallet, and above that he keeps his keys on a simple key ring 
On that key ring, he makes note that he has his Harley Davidson 48 key, as well as a wrench keychain because he says he's a mechanic. His watch to the middle of the photo is the Casio G-Shock GA100MB, and then to the bottom of the photo, his knife of choice is the Kershaw RJ Tactical 3.0. Finally, to the far right of the photo is the iPhone 7 Plus. All Alex has to say about his EDC is love the all black look for my EDC and I'm an avid watcher of the YouTube series. Thank you, Alex, for participating. Thanks for submitting. And I like this. It keeps it simple. He definitely wants you guys to know that he drives a Harley Davidson, which is uh, pretty neat. I miss my motorcycle. I never had a Harley. I had a faux street bike. I had a Ninja 250 and flipped it into over in doing 70. And I've tried to get back into riding a few times, but I, uh, when I wrecked my motorcycle, I broke my tailbone and it's not comfortable riding on a motorcycle anymore, like 30 minutes and I can barely stand up. So that's a, that's a no go for me, unfortunately. Anyway, thank you again for sharing Alex. You and I have a second entry into this month's giveaway and thank you all who submitted. Anybody featured in this video does have a second entry. Anybody not featured, you still entered and you could be featured over on Instagram or the website. And again, I, I encourage you to go follow on Instagram, but also to check out the website because I'm gonna be ramping up content there over the next couple of weeks and months. And the website is gonna be getting a redesign and some new features as well as a store. So I want you guys to go check it out. It needs work. It's a work in progress. I, I've always maintained that this website is a work in progress, but it is gonna be worked on by someone who's a little more adept at web development than me very soon. So expect some changes, expect some good changes and some really, really neat features in the coming months. With that said, it's time to show you how you can win the Trayvax Summit Wallet. We're gonna do the old tried and true method Comment a number between zero and 100. Oh, not 100. Comment a number between zero and 1000 in the comments down below. I will pick a number, whoever gets it first or whoever gets the closest first, as nobody actually guesses it, will win. You'll get it in the mail. Simple as that. That's gonna do it for this week's episode. If you have not submitted your EDC already, go to edcw.co. That way you're entered into the monthly giveaway. And just as a reminder, that giveaway is for a Hitchin Timber card caddy, a Griffin pocket tool, a Rovivon Aurora flashlight, a Keysmart rugged, a big I did design titanium pocket tool, and a yellow birch outfitters organizer. All you have to do is go to edcw.co, submit your EDC, and you are entered to win. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos, which is two to three times every single week. Every Friday is this show right here and other days throughout the week is different sorts of everyday carry videos. If there's anything in this video that you are interested in, it is gonna be linked down below. If you click through those links, it helps support the show. And if you wanna help the show even more, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestamedc. Finally, be sure to find us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestamedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.